Facing fierce competition, Facebook is working non-stop to gain users, add features, monetize more effectively, and embed its platform anywhere and everywhere. You know, Facebook's play is to effectively become a commercial part of the internet infrastructure. And internet infrastructure up to now has not been controlled by commercial entities on balance. If uh, Facebook Connect continues to roll out, becomes part of the plumbing of, of online, if developers incorporate that into their applications, um, Facebook could evolve towards actually being a utility for identity. Its functionality is growing to become uh, more active, more aware. Um, this is very much pushed through uh, data mining and analytics. Rapidly emerging new technologies pose a challenge to Facebook, but are also a major opportunity to extend and add value to the platform. There is the development of immersive 3D type technologies. The interaction that I have with a friend is not just texting, it may actually be something in a higher dimension where I'm immersed in an environment with them. So as you look around uh, through your camera phone um, or your video enabled next generation contact lenses, uh, you might see information from Facebook superimposed over the real world, giving you reviews or opinions um, or simply gossip or messages about the things that you're looking at. Whether it's you know, heads up glass and heads up display glasses that have the little Facebook logo in the corner, or um, something as simple as Facebook becoming a mechanism for sharing your discoveries and sharing your information uh, that you that you get through augmented reality systems, uh, I suspect that as new technologies emerge, as new media of of interconnection, as they emerge, Facebook will try to stay on top of that. The convergent acceleration that enabled Facebook's rapid growth is also empowering its competition and driving Facebook into sectors already dominated by major, well-funded players. What we will do is we will begin to uh, adopt and drop technologies at an ever-increasing rate. And I think that presents a challenge to Facebook because um, the next best thing is just, you know, uh, there tomorrow. And that change is um, going to be part of this new environment. Well, the acceleration of innovation around the web and, uh, and sociality on the web will shorten the life cycle of uh, a company like Facebook. So it's hypothetical 25 year dominance of you know, the social world will be shrunk to a decade. Facebook will need to leverage its might to create uh, partnerships with a lot of the kind of hardware manufacturers. They will need to heavily influence standards boards so that they have um, equitable access to all of these different types of embedded systems. So the big industrial players, the big enterprise players, people like IBM and Cisco, those are serious competitors for Facebook. If Facebook chooses to step out from its comfort zone of social media and try and engage with the built world, um, with the, the very infrastructure of industry and enterprise. Can Facebook successfully fend off competition and navigate the rapidly transforming social web environment? I think anybody that tries to out Facebook, Facebook uh, is not going to do it. Their Facebook is way too far ahead, and it's it's absolutely the wrong strategy. So, so the next winner will have to come up with something uh, different that um, does allow people to to connect more more freely and more um, emergently. I think the technology that supports them has to support that structure. So um, the technology needs to support the sociology, not the other way around. To add your voice to the Future of Facebook Open Foresight Project, go to futureoffacebook.com.